السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله بعد ولكم برضو السيسترز أو برضوهم بروفيت ستوريز وعرفوا كبعض بروفيت إبراهيم عليه الصلاة والسلام and subhanallah when you read the, the verses in the Quran about Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam you can gain a lot of information about Ibrahim and benefits from this story and great prophet alayhi salatu wasalam for example Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا إِبْرَاهِيمَ رُشْدَهُ مِنْ قَبْلُ وَكُنَّا بِهِ عَالِمِينَ indeed we gave Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam رُشْدَهُ his guidance his intellect, alayhi salatu wasalam, he was wise from a very young age, alayhi salatu wasalam. And there is something very important, brothers and sisters, to know before reading the story of Ibrahim, alayhi salatu wasalam, which is that the prophets, alayhi salatu wasalam, all the prophets, don't commit any kind of shirk or a major sin, even before the prophethood. This is very important, brothers and sisters. I mean, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa when you read his biography, you will not find that he did something wrong, I mean, as a shirk, as a major mistake, before his prophethood, before the age of 40. And also all the prophets, alayhi salatu wa salam. Why I'm mentioning this important point? Because sometimes you come across something in the Quran or something in the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa about the prophets. So maybe comes to your mind that this prophet was doing this mistake or that a major sin and this is totally wrong so now when you come to the story of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam when he was a young man or was an adult almost an adult maybe his age was 12 10 something like this he started to discuss his people about worshipping other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he started with his father as what he, what is mentioned in the Quran we understand that he started giving da'wah to his father inviting his father to be a Muslim so Ibrahim alayhi salatu was Muslim yes he was a Muslim all the prophets were Muslims alayhi salatu was salam why he was starting with his father, I mean Azar, because as we mentioned, the father of Ibrahim, his name is Azar, because Subhanallah, his father was a very important man in his village or in his city. He was making the idols for people to worship the idols. Subhanallah, look at what a big difference between the son and the father. The son was calling people to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the father was calling people to worship everything or many things other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he was making the idols for people to worship the idols. And as the, and or some scholars mention, you know, brothers and sisters, there are, there are many uh, stories in the books that not, not have a, a reference in the Quran or the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but the scholar said, it's okay to narrate them. These stories are called Israeliyat, which means the scholars got these stories from the uh, book of the Yahud or the Nasara, the Jews or Christians. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Hadithu an bani Israel wa la haraj. You can narrate stories from the children of Israel, which means from the Jews and Christians, and there is no sin. But of course, you have to make sure that this story doesn't contradict the Quran or the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So what is mentioned in the books that Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam was ordered by his father, take these idols and try to sell the idols for people. Subhanallah. Brothers, sisters, can you imagine that your, your God or the idol, your Lord, okay, with you, and you are carrying your Lord, your God, you are serving your God, subhanallah, and you are selling, you are doing business, and selling, buying the gods, subhanallah. Where is the brain of this man or these people? 
Subhanallah, for many times you will find very smart, intelligent people in physics, chemistry, medicine, in the dunya. But when you come to religion, subhanAllah, their brains are zero. For many reasons. Yeah, for example, one of the great companions, Rabbi Allah Ta'ala, and Khan Walid, subhanAllah, he was smart. Rabbi Allah Ta'ala, and he was intelligent. But he accepted Islam after about 20 years or 19 years. So when people ask him, they ask Khalid, Rabbi Allah Ta'ala, why you accepted Islam very late? And you are one of the great people of Quraysh. You are not a simple man. You are a great man. Smart. He said, because I was not using my mind. I was following those who are greater than me, older than me. Subhanallah. So this is one of the problems, brothers and sisters, that the man is not using what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, look, the Quran, وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمْ We honored children of Adam. And we gave them, the scholars say, which means that we gave them many things not found in the other uh, creatures or the other things like the animals, subhanAllah. But the problem when the man is not using his brain, his intellect, then he will be like the others, subhanAllah. So Ibrahim alayhi salatu was sent by his father, go to the market and sell these idols. So the scholar said that Ibrahim alayhi salatu was was going here and there selling the, uh, the, the gods or the idols of his father. And he was saying, who likes to buy what, ca what a thing cannot harm him and also cannot benefit him, subhanAllah. Who like to buy something which is useless? Brothers and sisters, do you like you go to the supermarket and you buy something useless? Nothing, yeah, it, it, you cannot eat, you cannot drink, you cannot dress. Of course, we will not buy anything like that. And if you pay money for that, one dinar, ten dinar, then people will accuse you, you are crazy. You are wasting your time. So the same thing, you are wasting your religion when you buy this idol, subhanAllah. So his father got angry with his son Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam. Why you are saying uh, this for my Lord, for our gods, you should respect, subhanAllah. He is contradicting himself. You want me to respect your God and you are sinning your God? And you are making them, you are protecting them? The God should protect people. The God should protect the worshippers, not the opposite. But this is the shaitan. When he controls the minds of the human being, they will follow the shaitan and they will forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to stop now. And inshallah continue tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.